Okay, this app that we're going to look at is called Sounding Board, and uh, this is an app, uh, augmentative uh, communication, uh, an application to help um, people that have uh, uh, communication problems, either nonverbal um, or may have had a stroke or, or something along those lines. Um, so when we open up the application, and by the way, it's made primarily for the iPod, I, iPhone, uh, but we have it on the iPad, it works perfectly on here. So we've blown it up so we can show you a little bit larger. Uh, we get three options. Select an existing board, create a new board, and settings. So let's go into settings. Now, this comes with switch access options. And for those therapists out there, they'll know exactly what this means. Uh, for the people that don't have the ability to touch the uh, the screen and, and the, the pictures on here, they have they can set up switches. Um, and they have two switch modes. So, that, so obviously I can't demonstrate that for you today. But that is something that therapists will be very interested in. External sound on or off, we have it on because we have uh, this going through a different sound other than the iPad. Um, so let's go back out and let's look at the existing boards, what this comes with. Um, so preloaded boards, we have clarification, control, emergency help, entertainment in Spanish, expressions, leisure, entertainment, money, my emergency information, reading, shopping, shopping list, social, workplace, and yes and no. And basically what you do when you click on one of these, you have a, a set of cards that when you touch... What did you say? ...will repeat whatever... I don't understand. ...message the card is supposed to say. So um, even though... Please explain that more. Please repeat that for me. Even though you see the cards and you see what it says here, you can actually have the cards say whatever you want it to say when you touch it. So let's run through what we have. We've got clarification, we've got control, and um, no. When you go through, Please stop. When you go through these, you have an option. When we, which I'll show you slightly later on, you have an option of how many cards you want in each category. And it, I think it can go up um, all the way to nine on the uh, the amount of lists and I'll show you that when we make boards so emergency help please call 911 this is in Spanish quiero mirar la televisión and of course you can do it in any language you want you can do it in Hungarian you could do it in Russian you could uh, whatever language you speak I like that me too So there's an example of nine boards on here. Please read to me. Dollar. Emergency information. My home address is 2418 Fairview Avenue North, Roseville, Minnesota, 55113. Who is that? Act it out. Thumbs up. Look at shopping. Excuse me. Can you help me? Bread. Cereal. need a drink. What is my schedule today? I think we missed one here. You're nice. I'm sorry. And yes and no. Yes. No. Okay, so you get the idea. That's what it comes with. Those are the main uh, boards that are loaded up, and that by no means uh, shows you um, the amount of pictures and everything that are available. So let me go ahead and show you how to uh, show you how to create a board. So what happens is you get to enter a board name, and for this instant we're going to call it test. I've created a couple of boards that I'm going to show you in more detail. But I'm just going to show you how to set up a board here, but not go into doing the setup more than once, uh, just for time-wise. So, uh, so here we go. Set up test. 
we get to decide how many squares we would like, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six or nine. Uh, we'll do two, for example, we'll save and um, we click on messages and the images are empty so it's as simple as this you click on an image you uh, click on picture and you can choose from the symbol library let's go in and have a look at this actions animals clothes colors communication community description drinks emotions entertainment food home letters money nature numbers people personal places school shapes things times transportation and weather and it tells you how many uh, pictures are in each category so when you click on food for example, all of the pictures within food pop up, and like we said, this is just a test, so we'll just uh, we'll just click on one. We'll click save, and um, I believe we'll call it. I think it's a cookie. So let's cook it. Call it a cookie. We'll save. We're going to record the message that it would say when you click on it. I would like a cookie, please. Play that back. I would like a cookie, please. Now down here you have the option of linking this to another board. I'm going to show you how that works, but that's the best part about this program. It just flows so smoothly from one scenario to the next. And you can link on and link on and link on. So you can go from the, I'll show you, go from the breakfast routine to the school bus routine to the lunchtime routine and so on and so on and so on. And I've set that up for a couple of ones. But anyway, we'll click on that. And there we have our cookie. So we need to add another image. And this time you can get it from your photo library. You basically just click on some photos and let's add this one and we'll call it um, Peach. I think that's what it was. Call the message. Can I have a peach, please? We'll stop. Can I have a peach, please? Okay. Well, you're not going to link it. That's. Uh, I'll show you how to do that later. And they're done. So that board is now created. Um, and when you go all the way out, uh, and you click uh, select an ex a board. You'll see the test is now here. So when you click on test, I would like a cookie, please. Can I have a peach, please? Okay, so you get the idea. That's how simple it is to set up your own boards. And uh, you can use your own photos. You can use the photos that are on there, and there are hundreds of them. Um, but let me show you the exciting part. I've created a couple of boards for you that link together. So let's say we create the breakfast routine. Okay, come down in the morning. You know, how am I feeling? I feel good today. Okay, then. Can I have some milk, please? Can I have some waffles, please? Can I please have an orange? And if you're not feeling so good, maybe I didn't set that one up. But anyway, that would say I feel tired today. Uh, when I'm we're all done, done with breakfast. We're all done with breakfast. And what happened was we moved on to the next board. So I created a board that when we're done with breakfast moves on to this board. And uh, it's basically getting ready to go to school. I'm going to get my backpack now. Have to make sure I've got my books. I'm all ready to go. Okay, so I stopped the link there, but if I wanted to, I could actually link that all ready to go to getting on the school bus, sitting in the chair, putting on my seatbelt, getting off the bus, walking into school. Um, to link something, it's, it's really, really simple. So basically you would go into uh, school. Um, oh, let's go back out here, we're going to edit. Sorry, we're going to school. And uh, let's go to um, sorry, let's go to the messages and click on ready to go to school. And we can always rearrange them. If you click on rearrange, it gives you the option of moving them around the screen. We're going to leave them in that order. We'll click done. Um, go back out of this. Click on the messages again. And um, sorry, go back out. And we're going to. Uh, Lost myself here. All right, back into school. Uh, click on the messages, and we click on this one. Now, what we're going to do is edit this. So, ready to go. We've got the message. I'm all ready to go. I'm all ready to go. Now, we want to link that to another board so that when we press the green man, we go into school mode. So, what you do is you press link to another board, and just for time purposes here, we're going to link it to um, one that says yes or no, so that you can obviously see. Uh, this in action. So we'll click done, we'll click save, done, done, 
and let's go ahead and look at um, school. So here we go. I'm going to get my backpack now. And you can see this is highlighted with narrow, which means it's linked to another page. Have to make sure I've got my books. I'm all ready to go. And there it goes to the next screen. And we only set this up for the yes or no screen. Um, so unlimited ways of setting this up. Unlimited pictures that you could use, any pictures you want, Google images, your images. Uh, limitless, really, really amazingly limitless. And um, just linking the boards could really set you up for an entire day's routine, especially if this is on your iTouch and it's in your pocket. You could uh, You could create an entire routine for the day and even the night. So... That's the demonstration. Uh, it is made for the iPhone, the iTouch. Uh, we have it on the iPad. But um, this was a demonstration of an app called Sounding Board.